Hey there, Lorraine here. I'm going to show you how you can make videos just like this one where you can use a tool called Canva. We've got royalty free images and music you can use and it's a great way to create videos if you're on a tight budget because it's free. So if you want to know how you can do this for yourself, stick with me and I'll show you the process involved. Alright guys, I'm on Canva right now, but before we dive straight into this, if you're interested in building a long-term online business and you're struggling to fit all the jigsaw pieces together in making this work, click the link below. There is free training that will walk you through step by step on what you need to do. It is training that I personally went through myself and I 100% recommend it if you're willing to put in the work. So click that link and you can get access today. So let's run through how you can create your own videos similar to the demo one you just watched. And because that particular video was uploaded on YouTube, we'll stick with YouTube videos. So we just type in YouTube videos and we'll choose this one right here. YouTube video 1920 by 1080 PX. You're given options here of pre-made ones. You can select them if you want and alter them or you can start a fresh one. And as you can see here, there are some end screen videos that you can select if that's what you're looking for. But I'm going to create a blank video. There are so many different types of videos you can create. You will see here in the templates section, there are educational ones, review videos, explainer videos, marketing videos, real estate videos and sales videos, health videos, food, fashion, makeup, pretty much anything you can think of they have options for you. But I'm gonna do one here from scratch. So the first thing we would do is go over to elements and down in the frames section, see all. And this is the one I had in the video. So I'm gonna choose this one. But there are many different options here you can choose from. And the next thing here we do is go to uploads and go to videos and you upload whatever video you want. And this is the one I'm gonna select because that's the one that was in the demo video. I'm going to just mute that there. And then what we do is we reduce the size. We drag it into the box and it automatically fits in. And then you click on it there and you select the scissors option right here. I don't want the beginning of it right there. So we can shorten it to wherever you want to go. So we can say here. And then I want to take the end of it off. And let's see how that looks. Hey there, Lorraine. Yep, that looks okay. So that's that bit done. Very easy. Now the next step is to choose a moving graphic for the background. So we go back into elements, take out frames, we X out of that. And then we can go to stickers, see all. And there are so many different options here you can add to your video. Whatever that may be, you might like confetti stickers and that just simply adds in there and you can change the position of that. Add it to the background if you want. And increase the size, decrease the size. So you can change up your video whatever way you want or whatever style you want. And if you want animated words and you could add something like like my page, reduce the size, have it at the bottom here. Anything that says pro are the ones you have to pay for, but all the free ones show up as free. And just to show you how I had the graphic within the video, I went into lines and then up here, you have an option of static or animated. Select animated and apply. And this is the one for the demo. We'll take this one back out and then I, you can switch it around like this, turn it. And then you can also add another one and bring it over here and turn it around as if it's coming back out of the screen. And you can also position this to the background. That one looks good. And this one needs to go to the background as well. We position it, select background and it goes behind the screen. 
Now for the background, you can go down here and select background. There are many ones you can choose right here as your background, but the one on the demo video, it was just a plain one. So we'll just stick with a plain one for this video. So we'll pick this one right here. You can change the color to whatever you want. And right here, you can change the transparency of the background if you want. And to add a bit more detail to your video, if you want, you can go back into elements and select animated again and choose one of the stickers and you can type it in right here, whatever you're looking for. So if I say I want to some, I'm going to put in some stars and you have all these different options to choose from. This is the one I chose in the demo video. So we'll pick this one and I had it up here in the corner. I had it at reduce size. And I'll pick another one and reduce that size and have it at the top right hand corner. And if you want to add some static graphics into your videos, select static, apply now and go down to gradients. We could maybe choose this one right here and bring it down to the side like that. And I'll go with this one right here and bring this one up here. And then within the colors, you can always change the colors from up here, crop it. The transparency as well, you can change. Now, if you want to add music to the background, you go to music. All the music here displayed with a crown, you have to pay for, but there are options available that are free. This is the one I chose for the demo video I did. So I'll select this one and then you can choose whatever part you want to start it at. So if you want to start it more in the middle, and over here, you can reduce the volume of the music so that you can hear the words within the video. I had it brought down to number 25 and that seemed to work okay. Now you can see right here, you can preview the video before you download it. And if you want to have extra slides in your videos, you can add a page right here, or you can duplicate this existing page by clicking this and it'll bring it up as a second page. If you want to delete it, you can delete it again. So you can keep adding as many pages as you want or duplicating the existing one so you don't have to redo what you were doing initially in the first page. Or if you want a brand new one from scratch, here we go and you can start importing whatever you want on that page. So as you can see, the time has gone up to 57 seconds because I've added extra pages. So if I want for my second page to take this out, and add in some text just for an example. And then the third page, I want maybe another element. Take out gradients right there and put in animated, apply. And I'll go back into stickers again and go into words and put in sale and include this right here maybe. And you could add an image of for maybe a product that you're selling or whatever call to action you want someone to do, you can add that in here. You can create whatever video you want. You can create whatever amount of slides you want. Have music in your background. You can use animated text and graphics. You can upload your own videos. Whatever you want to do, it's very versatile. It may take some getting used to in the beginning and it would take a lot longer than maybe softwares that you would pay for. But for a free tool, it's a great option. So if you want to have a Facebook video, you put in Facebook video right here. It'll bring you up the dimensions for Facebook. And let's say we want a pre-made one this time. And I'll go back into my uploads and select the video I want to include and then put it into the box right here. And the same process applies. You can crop it, you can clip it, you can change the background, you can change the text. You can delete so you can make whatever changes you want to this one and upload it to your Facebook if you want. So the options aren't just available for YouTube. It's for your Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want. So that's how you make videos with Canva. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe and hit that bell notification. And I will see you on the next video.